Hey guys, it's Ryan with BTAD TV. Are you looking for the perfect chair to pair with your standing desk? In this video, I'll review our current top pick for the best standing desk chair. Are you looking for a new standing desk chair? BTAD TV is your number one source for everything standing desks. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. The Pogo is a leaning stool by Sitmatic that has a current selling price of $386.75. It comes in a variety of different color combinations and you also have three different seat heights to choose from. Here is how we configured our Pogo. So before we get into reviewing the Pogo itself, I do want to go over a few of the policies that do apply to this chair. The first being the return policy should you decide that you do not like the item. This is an item that is sold through a network of authorized dealers. It's not available directly through Sitmatic, which means that the return policy on the chair is going to depend on the dealer that you make the purchase through. So an example would be at btod.com, we offer full refunds on the POGO within the first 30 days. We just ask that you pay for return shipping costs and use the original packaging. So if you are concerned with the return policy, if you're on the fence a little bit, I would definitely recommend reaching out to the authorized dealer that you're considering so that you know what you're in store for if you do need to make a return. Sitmatic covers the Pogo with one of the best warranties that you'll find in the standing desk chair market. It has a limited lifetime warranty with the frame and the base being covered for a lifetime, the cylinder, the foam, and the fabric being covered for 10 years. Now, there are a couple additional factors that really make this warranty stand out. The first is that this warranty is valid for 24 seven usage. The second is that there's no weight limit on the warranty for this chair. And the third is that if you're within a 50 mile distance of a Sitmatic authorized dealer, they will send technicians out to your place to perform on-site repairs if necessary. If you are not within that 50 mile distance, Sitmatic will send replacement parts at no charge to you. And the final thing that really makes this warranty stand out is that the warranty follows the chair and not the original purchaser, which is not something that we see in the office chair industry. So if you decide to sell this second hand or give it to someone else, they will also get the remaining balance of your warranty. The Pogo ships within two weeks and arrives to your location via FedEx or UPS ground. The box is pretty large and weighs about 35 pounds, so you might want to have someone on hand to help you move it into your office. One of the great things about the Pogo is that it does arrive fully assembled, so take it out of the box and you're ready to start using the chair. The Pogo is made in the USA with good quality components. The base, spring, and column are all made from steel. They're thick, heavy, and they feel really durable. Around the base, there's a thick rubber ring that is made out of the same material used for tires. This was chosen by Sitmatic for the longevity that it provides and also because it's suitable for hard surfaces as well as carpet. The foam and fabric on the Pogo are also gonna be good quality. The foam is gonna be a molded foam, which is a step up from the standard cut foam that we see on lower end products. The fabric is a grade four polyester that's been tested to 250,000 double rubs. A double rub is used to simulate someone sitting down in the chair and then getting back up. Overall, the Pogo has one of the best build qualities that we've had a chance to see on a standing desk chair. The Pogo does not have wheels. Instead, it has a heavy metal base with a thick rubber ring that is designed to stay in place for the entire time that you're sitting in the chair. This makes the sit feel very stable while you're in the chair, but this also poses one of the biggest downsides with the Pogo, and that is making small adjustments around your desk with the chair. I found this to be very apparent when trying to make these adjustments to get comfortable in front of my keyboard tray. Moving the chair an inch or two inches to one side or the other to try to get into that perfect position really can become difficult because you need to lift the chair up, set it down, lift it up, set it down, and this may take several times, a couple minutes to get to your sweet spot. So if you are really concerned with the mobility while you're sitting, you may wanna look for a product that has casters.
The Pogo is not gonna be the best product when it comes to portability. We just talked about the fact that it does not have wheels, so you're not able to roll the Pogo around. Now, similarly designed products like the Moveman and the Mobis weigh about half as much as the Pogo, so it's really easy to just pick those chairs up and carry them with you. While the Pogo has a similar design, and you can definitely pick it up by the seat, as you can see, it does weigh about 30 pounds, so carrying it long distances or moving it around frequently may be a problem for some people. The seat is going to be my favorite aspect about the Pogo. It features a 14 inch diameter seat with a flat top. This is going to be a bit smaller than the seats that we see on standard office chairs, but it is going to offer a larger surface area than most standing desk chairs. Most competing models will have very specific seat shapes, they'll be smaller, and they'll typically have some type of convex or concave design, which is going to further limit the area that you have to sit on the chair. The best thing about the seat on the Pogo is gonna be its cushioning. Most competing models have very firm, small, hard seats that can become uncomfortable in short amounts of time. That's not gonna be the case with the seat on the Pogo. It has some of the thickest padding that we've seen on any standing desk chair, and on top of that, it has high quality foam. The molded foam in the seat is gonna be a step up from the cut foam, as we talked about in the build quality section. A good way to show how the difference is between the cut foam and the molded foam is to use an analogy with a loaf of bread. Molded foam is gonna be like the whole loaf where cut foam is gonna be like a slice of the bread. The cut foam is not gonna be as durable and it's not gonna hold its shape as well as the molded foam. On top of that, you get really high quality fabric. It's soft to the touch, it stretches, and it's comfortable to sit on. The bottom of the column features a spring design which gives the Pogo its ability to move while you are working. So you can see that when you sit on the Pogo, you're gonna have a broad range of motion. You can move side to side, front to back, and then the range itself is also gonna be massive, much more so than competing models like the Moveman, Mobis, the Very Chair. You can see that you can really, you can see I'm almost in a full squatted position. You can go back further back than straight up and down, and you can do this in all directions. So this can be a good and a bad thing. This is good because it gives you a ton of freedom to move, great for those of you that really want to move a lot and stay active and really engage your muscles, but this can also be a downside for those of you that are looking for a chair that you're gonna use for many hours a day because the Pogo does take more energy than most of the standing desk chairs that we have used because of its freedom and its range of motion. So if you're looking for something for prolonged hours, this may not be the best option, but if you really want something to give you a ton of freedom and stay really active, then this is gonna be a great choice. So there are two main schools of thought when it comes to office chair ergonomics. The first is to get you in a chair that puts your ankles, legs, knees, hips, elbows, everything at 90 degrees. It's a position that you can sit in for multiple hours at a time and remain comfortable. Another school of thought is to try to keep you more active move more and engage your muscles while you're working. The Pogo is gonna follow that second school of thought. So you can see that it has a pitched forward cylinder about seven degrees. This allows you to maintain a perched position, which helps to open up your leg angle, engage your muscles and really increase blood flow. As we talked about in the range of motion section, the Pogo does give you a ton of freedom with your ability to move around in the chair. So you really are able to stay active, keep your muscles engaged, increase that blood flow, basically do everything that you're trying to do with that second school of thought when it comes to ergonomics and office chairs. Now there are a couple things to consider with this chair and with that method of thinking when it comes to ergonomics. The first, we already touched on in range of motion. You may not be able to use a chair like this as long as you can use a standard ergonomic office chair. The second thing to consider is that these chairs take a bit to get used to when you first get into them. So when I first started testing out standing desk chairs, it took me about two weeks of feeling some soreness, some fatigue because I'm using muscles that I'm not used to using when I'm sitting. And after about that two week period, I started to get used to it. So if you are gonna make the change, just be prepared for a little adjustment period. One accessory that I think is beneficial for almost every standing desk chair is a footrest. 
Sitmatic offers a footrest option on the Pogo. It's made of 100% recycled aluminum, features non-slip rubber strips on the bottom, and it also features shiatsu ridges for added comfort on your feet. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I like a footrest with a standing desk chair is it really helps to alleviate pressure on your feet your shins, and your legs overall. So when you sit in the standing chair normally, your feet are gonna be flat on the ground, and so a lot of your pressure is gonna be pushing forward, which can become uncomfortable on your shins, the bottoms of your feet, and your thighs. When you put your feet up on a footrest, it really changes the angle and puts most of the pressure to the bottom of your feet and your heels. So I'm taking most of the load with the strongest parts of my legs and with the bottoms of my feet instead of pushing the soles of my feet forward and using my shins. So that can really help to prolong the amount of time that you can sit in a given chair in one sitting. So if you need something to use for a little bit longer, then I would definitely recommend a footrest option. The Pogo is our highest ranked standing desk chair, but it won't be perfect for everyone. The lack of sitting mobility is definitely something to consider. It also may take you a bit to get used to this new sitting experience, and I don't think that this is the best option for those of you that are looking for an option to sit for prolonged hours in any given day. With that being said, there's a reason that this is our number one pick. It is made in the USA with good quality components backed by a strong warranty. It has a comfortably designed seat, a wide range of motion, and a large seat height adjustment range that will work for almost everyone. The large seat height adjustment range and unlimited weight rating also make this one of the very few standing desk chairs that will work for big and tall people. If you'd like more information on the Pogo, then click the link in the description and it will take you to our blog, which features a lot more information than was provided here. If you've made it this far in the video, please hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future standing desk chair videos. Thanks a lot for watching.